Are you the right kind of American? Are you the wrong kind? Well, well, well. Immediately. Immediately. Who puts on a ghillie suit and then puts pastel colors on their face? It's worse than the Navy picture. From the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. There are some people think that in 2024, we are headed for a civil war. They believe that the hero government will save them from the evil right-wing conservatives. Now here's a little fact for you. Alec Baldwin killed more people than all of the insurrectionists on January 6th combined. He was also better armed. If you do not know that fact, the rest of your political opinions are probably I'm Jeff D, host of ThoughtCast and Freethinkers Rebellion. Gaming streams over on Rumble, where I can say whatever. We're taking no prisoners on this one. There's this new movie, Civil War, by A24. I saw the pictures blasting out of the sniper with the trans fingernails and the spotter with the trans flag. And I'm just going to be real with you. This, this feels massively like propaganda. I haven't watched any of the trailers for this. It looks like they have two. One dropped a day ago, one a few months ago, um, but I, I just haven't watched it. Do you remember the massive propaganda movie, Don't Look Up? They're actually firing scientists like me for speaking out, for opposing them. The president the of the top. United States is fucking lying. Don't look up. It's not the you of your freedom. Where the moral of the story was anyone dared question experts and science was a right-wing psychopath didn't care about the destruction of humanity yeah i kind of feel the same vibes just off of the aura like it didn't take much for me to immediately feel that way so let's watch the trailers because i haven't watched them we're gonna see if there's any weird woke stuff if it feels like this is actually just left-wing propaganda going into election season, or if it actually looks like a good movie. Just comment along as we watch it. What do you think? 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out with what we see on the news seems like it's for the best. Okay. So they're saying the West and the South California. That's rich. Okay. All right. I'll bite. It seems more fantasy than reality right now. <laughs> Citizens of America. The so-called Western forces of Texas and California. Bro, they did not get Nick. They got him. The like, the world's libertarian. Parks and Rec to be the president. Okay. Squashing rebellion. That's so non-libertarian of you, Nick. America. The so-called Western forces of Texas and California. Have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? <laughs> We're moving to DC today. We need to go down there. We got California and Texas working together against Nick Offerman as President Biden, and they're airstriking the offending forces. That's very interesting. Now, Joe Biden did say it doesn't matter if you got some of these guys, you need an F-15 to take on the government. I'm sure everyone just wanted to give up their guns after that. Moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived the war zone. I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. There it is. Got the trans flag colors. So obviously these are the good guys. Or are these? Wait, 
Wait, would this be the California Western? <laughs> would this be the California Western fighters? I mean, they're wearing, they're wearing fatigues. I don't know. This might be Biden's army, but it also could be the Western, <laughs> the, the California rebels <laughs> with the trans flag. <laughs> I don't even know. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know. Like, it could be either way. <laughs> It could be either way. The Gaza genocide is like too, too much. And then all the, the transgenders and LGBTQ activists over in California uprise against the government and form the Western Alliance. And they'd have to have their colors while going after the government. So you'd see the rainbow slash trans stuff in there. The other side is that this would be the good guys in the main military who are, you know, taking out the horrible right wingers. Maybe we'll see, but that, I mean, come on, that's so on the nose, the trans color finger, fingernail polish. I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this, but here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American. Okay. Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> ah, of course. Of course. Uh, so that, that be the bad guy for sure. They, they put red shades on him. So he's seeing red slash, you know, MAGA conservative. He's white. Are you the right kind of American? Are you the wrong kind? Cause you look like you're from south of the border, boy. I'm gonna send you back. <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so president's getting dragged, um, probably by the Western forces. Yeah, because those are going out, or Texas. That would be Texas, actually, getting in there. Or, he's, or the Secret Service has gotten a lot less gentle. But so far, we got the main government air striking California and Texas. They're assaulting DC on July 4th. Symbolic. Uh, the main protagonist is the, the lady photographer who thinks that war is bad period. Okay. And the only true, definitely the bad guy person was Mr. Red shades. It seemed. God bless America. All right. Now, yesterday they dropped another video. It's one minute long. So we'll just watch that. All across America, critics are raving about the movie event of the year. It is American. 100%. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Yep, there we go. So in the other trailer, you got the sniper with trans fingernail polish colors. And then this is very clearly on the nose, the trans flag color face paint, which like what tactical advantage, bro? <laughs> Why? To snipe. Like you got a full ghillie suit and then pastel colors on your dome. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. We're going to DC. Are you serious? The United States are vaporized. They shoot this on sight in the Capitol. I've never been scared like that before. And I've never felt more alive. Holy fucking shit! 
In their one minute trailer, they decided to put both Easter eggs guy with the trans flag face paint and the guy with the trans flag nail polish. Is that, is that not what it is? Please comment if I just have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's kind of on the nose. Why would you choose those exact colors? Come on. Holy fucking shit. You watch as soon as DC falls. Hold up. Oh, maybe it's just a gender reveal. I am so sorry. I didn't realize gender reveal colors. Man, I just, we just had twins. I should have known. I, it's a boy and a girl too. It's just, it's just the boy and girl colors. That's what it is. As soon as DC falls, they'll turn on each other. Whatever happens, we don't quit. Oh my God. You don't want to miss this. God bless America. Don't you catch it. Super Bowl War. Read it R. Get tickets now. Look, I'm going to give you the real deal. The good guy photographers who don't want any conflict whatsoever are saying that the worst thing ever would be for DC to fall to those evil people. And then they would fight amongst each other and they wouldn't even set up the right things anyway. It's a fantasy world. Whatever. It's fine. It, I hope that it's good. I hope it's entertaining. I don't watch that many movies. I just don't have time or interest. Uh, but I want to comment on the stuff with the culture and when they passed around the, like the, the trans tactical sniper team. I mean, I got to look at that. And then also for people who have seen this, how much of a propaganda movie is this? Cause I'm not spoiling anything. Cause I haven't seen it. I, I haven't even seen the trailer. So how much left-wing propaganda is the movie? Is it the dangers of the insurrection? Cause that's kind of the whole theme is the government is attacking the insurrecting forces of California and Texas. And they made it California so it wasn't so on the nose that it's just conservatives that we need to be worried about. Forces from California, but then put them all in D.C. So then it just looks like crazy right-wingers with too many guns. That, that's what I see. That's what I see. And that's the messaging. That's the big push that they want to put out. Because even though Biden has the worst ratings ever, even though Trump is polling better with every demographic, even though 16% of people say as soon as the Hunter Biden laptop story broke as real, we knew it was real the whole time. We just lost our counts. We just got shadow banned, actual banned, demonetized, all that fun stuff while we were telling the truth during the end of the Trump era and the beginning of the pandemic. They made everyone feel like the smart decision was to go with oatmeal brain that falls up the stairs. And now that everything is going against that, we're, we're coming through in 2024 for round two. And every single metric shows Trump is favored to win. So if Biden gets a hundred million votes, in order to outpace Trump in 2024, they want to pre warn you that any protest would be the bad guys, the evil, horrible bad guys. Cause that's what January 6th was. That was them saying the people who disagree are the evil, horrible bad guys. So I, once again, I haven't seen the movie. This is my pre reaction to watching these two trailers but you guys if you've seen it let me know let me know if i'm missing huge if it's no no jeff it's just fantasy the the, the trans colors on the sniper team doesn't mean anything about anything about anything and the red glasses meme of a character you're reading too much into it just let me know if you enjoyed the video like subscribe Comment what you think, what you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next video.